Hello everybody and welcome back to Death Under Tuscan Skies, a Dana Nightstone novel. In this video, I will play through chapter number two. Giovanni had never returned to the university. Upon leaving, he had simply disappeared without a trace. I delivered my lecture the next day to a class of bright literature students, but I couldn't get my mind off Giovanni and Ava. As I compared Renaissance classics with today's bestsellers, all I could think about was the mystery I had just discovered. I had to find out what happened to Giovanni, and the best place to search for clues was right under my very nose. Oh hey, it's Professor Romano again. He is going to help us find Giovanni. This is a simple puzzle. You want to um, put these things in order according to date. So 81, then 84, then 87, then let's see, 93, 96, 99. Uh-oh, I forgot 90. 90 goes there. Class of 1898! We've found it! However, we'll need a bit more information. Alright, so the professor said that we should check out the trophy case, and he means this trophy case. Let's see if we can find these things. Eva? Um, a snail? A high-heeled shoe? What is a high-heeled shoe doing inside a cup? Weird. Okay, um... Birds. I'm finding birds. Antonio. Who's Antonio? Antonio! Right, right! Ava's father! Um... Certificate! Oh, hey, that was Johnny's certificate. That's important. Yeah. I think that's what we're looking for. Okay, rope. That also seems important. A tie? Well, there's a tie. That's pretty obvious. And a koala? Huh, I thought koalas were Australian, not Italian. In any case, back to the office here. That's not the office. This is outside. Uh, my mistake, but we can do things here outside. What's this area? Excuse me, ma'am, it's not safe to enter without a safety helmet. Oh, sorry about that guy. Let's just take his hammer. Why is there a hammer in a cement mixer? That's weird. What's this? Ah, wire cutters and, um, something else. Tweezers! Cool. Alright, so let's, let's go back inside the administration building. And here's the records office. Okay, here's the certificate, Professor. Now we know which department he was in. My apologies, Miss Nightstone, but I have to go to a faculty meeting. Okay, see you later, dude. It's locked? Oh, it's locked. What's this? This is a remote control. Not really, no, it's a TV remote which gives us batteries. Right. And here you want to use the tweezers get the key to the cabinet. Okay, so Johnny was in room 120... 192. And he was terminated. Suspicious. Suspicious. And you want to check out the glass bowl. Here you want to make matches. Just find the things which look alike and uh, make matches, and eventually you will find matches. So there we go, matches. I think that's it for this room. Here I want to um, put batteries in this thing. 
use the wire cutters to get the helicopter. Great, so I need to go outside. I could use a helicopter to get the helmet, because the guy said, Hey, hey, you need to get a helmet here. So let's see, how am I going to reach the red arrow? Let's see, I go down and then right and right and down and right and down and left and down and right, 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 down, 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 left, right, right, right. I said left where I shouldn't have, but that's pretty simple, just, just follow the trail. Now I've got a helmet. I'm going to look so awesome with my helmet here. Okay, here, buddy, here's your helmet. Hey, this looks like the helmet I lost last week. Here, let me put it on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that looks awesome. Yeah, Dana is stylish. And here's the room number. Give it to the guy. Let's see, room uh, 192. That's on the second floor. Yeah, that's safe area. Go right in, Ms. Nightstone. Yeah, this is a pretty safe area. Except for the fact that it's dark and I could fall and hurt myself, in which case it's not a safe area at all. What's in this locker? Broken glass. Broken glass everywhere? This is like the exact opposite of a safe area. Oh, and that's Johnny's locker. Wow, amazing that it's been intact for the past, I don't know, 300 years. What's this? More glass, more glass. Okay, so find all the pieces of glass and use them here. You want to put them on this thing. Is it a lamp? Looks a bit like a lamp, huh? Yeah, 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 it looks like a lamp. Alright, there we go. It looks like it needs a candle or something. Where am I going to find a candle? Hint, what do I do? Find a wick from a lunchbox. Ooh. Oh, you want to go back outside, and this guy randomly has a candle wick. And he has some cheese. Huh. Not sure why that's the case. Put the wick there, set it on fire, and now we have a lantern. So now we can explore this area. Does the lantern go here on the lantern holder? Oh, oh, oh! No, that's that's not good. That's not good. Let's break the emergency case. All right, we get a fire axe. Violent. It's dangerous, but we need to figure out how to get past this rubble. We're gonna we're gonna need something. Let's go back here. Let's see, this display case. Here we go, a grappling hook. That's what we need. Yeah, we're just gonna grapple over the rubble. Hey, it works. It works! And here's a mouse. Give cheese to the mouse. And you can get some coins. More coins over here. I think these are the coins for uh, Johnny's locker. So this is a puzzle. You want to turn all the tiles to bronze. So start with those two corners, and then here just um, do this. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Y you get the idea, right? And then just those two corners. I eagerly await the day that I see your blood on someone's hand. STAY AWAY FROM MY SISTER! Did somebody not like Johnny? Was that Ava's brother? Was Ava's brother trying to keep her away from him? Hmm, I don't know. So here you want to put the pieces on the lockets, or in the locket. And as you can kind of see, I am failing horribly. No, 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 wait, no. As you can kind of see, they have matching pieces. It's so like the yellow design goes next to the yellow design. 
Yeah, the, the various designs which are next to each other, they match. Right, and it's a picture of Ava. Aw, he had a picture of Ava in his locket. He really did love her. That's nice. Okay, this is locked, but we can destroy it with the fire axe. Kind of violent, but... Yeah, no but. That is violent. Cabinet here! Gem here! For a puzzle! Select five images that have a common theme. So I think, uh... These ones, they all have, um, you know, columns. I don't know what this theme is. I, I think it's like red stuff. But those are the six. Yeah. Yeah, not sure what those are. Ooh, a hidden button. A hidden staircase. Plastic organs! Ew! Why are we collecting plastic organs? And a light bulb. Alright, let's go upstairs to the attic. Kind of dark, so let's use the light bulb. Ah, a hidden message! Haha! -ha. And here we have some hidden objects. Okay! First aid kit. Uh, syringe, blood splatter, uh, whatever that was, a catechist, a wedge, a fiddlestick, fiddlestick? I see a fiddle, where's the stick? Okay, looks like I also need a ball of yarn, oh, there it is, right there. Ball of yarn, number 10, bookmark, seashell, stethoscope, and fiddlestick. Stethoscope. Seashell. Hint, help me out here. There's a seashell, and finally, the fiddlestick is somewhere. Here? Oh, that looks like it would be a fiddlestick. Oh no, that's the side of the drawer. Okay. Is that the fiddlestick at the bottom of this thing? No. Okay, well, let's forget about that and then do a different puzzle. Um, uh, more organs. And more organs. The organs are for this thing, but I'm missing a couple of organ parts. Trying to break that cabinet, but we can't break it. We need to uh, finish this challenge before we can break that cabinet. Where is that fiddlestick? The hint meter is not even halfway full, so we have lots of time on our hands. Here. There we go. Alright, heavy blocks go over here. This is a puzzle. Put each block in the outline. Yeah, there's an outline for each block, so that makes this somewhat simple. Let's see. That there. This here. Square there. This here. Okay, puzzle complete. And we get a safe. What was the combination? 60, 50, 70, 30. So I go clockwise first. 60, 70. No, 60, 50, 70. Ah, oh, okay. Let's, let's start again. 6, 5, 7, 3. So six, five, seven, three. All right. So I get an envelope. Giovanni, I have what I have the answer to what you are looking for. 
Meet me in the town of Casentino. Okay, so, Dr. Pharaoh met with Johnny, and we have a microfiche filter viewer thing. That's interesting. I didn't even know they made portable microfiche machines. And I need more plastic organs, clearly. Where are the other plastic organs? Hint? Here? Ah, didn't see that. My mistake. Anyway, use the organs here on the model. And you have a puzzle, so put the organs where they're supposed to go. This is, um, liver, I guess. Is this a kidney? Those are intestines. This is a voice box. This is the brain. And this is the heart. Oh, and can't forget the teeth. So that's it, right? What am I missing? Oh, the voice box. Hehe. <laughs> cool, so I am a master of anatomy, and I get microfiche. And conveniently, I have a portable microfiche viewer. And that is the end of chapter number two. Poor Giovanni. He had worked day and night to find a cure for the disease, but his research yielded no results. Suddenly, a glimmer of hope. A letter arrived from a doctor in Casentino who had been experimenting on a similar medical condition. Did Giovanni find his answer in Casentino? There was only one way to find out.